At that time, Notorious, held the Cage Warriors featherweight title and had the opportunity to become a two-weight champion when he fought lightweight fighter Ivan Buckinger on New Year's Eve. Conor McGregor won two Cage Warriors belts before signing with UFC credit, Cage Warriors. Buckinger is his latest victim on the regional scene credit, Cage Soldiers. The young Irishman made the most of his big opportunity with both hands. McGregor put in a flawless performance at the Helix in Dublin and realized his double championship dream when he knocked out Buckinger in the first round. The 35-year-old dodged his opponent's punches before returning with a counter left that left the Slovakian star unconscious on the canvas. A day later, UFC commentator Joe Rogan contacted him and congratulated him on the epic win that accelerated his journey to MMA's best league. He tweeted, I just watched your fight, Connor. Congratulations, you look sensational. Hope to see you in the UFC someday. Good luck. McGregor replied, Thank you so much Joe, that means a lot. You are truly a legend, my friend. It soon became clear that his performance had caught the UFC's attention, and President Dana White moved quickly to sign him in February 2013. In April of the same year, McGregor stopped Marcus Bremage in his UFC debut to earn a huge bonus and drive around Las Vegas in White's Ferrari. White snapped him up and they did brilliant business together credit, Getty Images, Getty. The rest, as they say, is history. In 2016, he became a double-weight champion again by stopping lightweight champion Eddie Alvarez 11 months after defeating featherweight King Jose Aldo. Today, McGregor is undoubtedly the biggest star in MMA history. Mystic Mac is rich beyond his wildest dreams, and he even topped Forbes's list of mega-rich athletes due to a combination of his huge fight purse and business acumen. McGregor has not fought since breaking his leg at UFC 264 in July 2021. This father of three children is fit and ready to return to playing. Lightweight Michael Chandler will welcome McGregor back to the octagon after he completes six months of mandatory drug testing. McGregor is believed to be eligible to compete from April 2024 and former middleweight champion Michael Bisping recently told TalkSport that the Irishman could headline UFC 300. Only time will tell when MMA's greatest icon will return.